Hi everybody. Today we're gonna have a look at the organ part of the new rotary speaker and electric organ plugin. So today we will ignore the amp and speaker and microphone part and only have a look at the organ. I noticed that quite some are not familiar with this concept of uh, draw bars here and all that stuff, so I'm gonna explain that today. And of course we will go through the other features here as well. For understanding how everything here works, we need to understand how an organ generates the sound at all. So we're gonna start with the sound generator. And in these organs, the sound generator is a wheel with bumps and that spins around. Attached to that wheel, there is a pickup, just as we know from electric guitars. And now depending on the speed of the wheel and how many bumps there are, it produces a higher or a lower tone. And that's why these wheels are called tone wheels. At least that's the sound generator for the B organ. You can switch that in the plug into the type C organ, where all that is done with electric circuits, and that's why it sounds differently. But overall, let's keep in mind that we need a sound generator for every pitch that we want to play. And here we see 91 keys of our keyboard, and each one has its own sound generator, but the organ has fewer keys than we have sound generators. So what we see here should be the upper keyboard are the keys that have a tone wheel and the lower keyboard are the keys that we can actually play while the octave on the left side is gray because we can't play that. That is the octave for the preset switching and all that stuff. So let's ignore that one. So when I play a note, let's say this C, we will hear the corresponding tone wheel tone generator. And now let's come to the draw bars, because the organ will not only play the corresponding sound generator. With that one key, you can play all these sound generators. And that's where the draw bars come in. For example, let's just see the C key and the octave above and two octaves above and three octaves above. And each of the sound generators has its own volume control. This is the volume control for the first C, the second one, the third and the fourth. So actually the draw bars are a kind of mixer. And here you can mix how loud each one of the sound generators should be played when you play that note. So here I have all draw bars in, so we don't have any sound at all when I trigger my keyboard. And now let's turn up the volume for the directly corresponding tone wheel. And as I said before, this one should be the octave to this one. And this one is even one octave higher. And the next octave. And with just these octaves and a bit of reverb, you can already play some church music. So okay, the white ones were the octaves. Let's see the black draw bars. And the black draw bars are obviously not octaves. So the first black draw bar is for the fifth in the second octave. In this case, we're playing a C key. So it's for a tone wheel that actually plays a G. And in the next octave, we have the major third and again the fifth. So now let's hear that. So now for demonstration, we take the directly associated tone wheel and now the octave, the fifth, and an octave, the third, fifth, octave. Now of course you could think, wow, we're playing chords now. But when you play this organ, you won't notice that you're already playing chords. It sounds like just a C or an E with a certain kind of overtone structure. So now that we heard that and thought this could be a chord, if I really play an arpeggiated chord, you will not hear that we're actually playing chords already. Now what's up with these brown draw bars here? They are for the so-called undertones. The undertones are these dark green tones. So the first brown draw bar would be for this note, and the second one corresponds to this note. So the left one plays a sub-octave, while the right one plays the fifth in the first octave. 
and these are the corresponding undertones of this first corresponding C and this G in the higher octave. Okay, again, let's hear them. And now with this undertone and the highest overtone, we are already playing frequency content from four octaves with just one key. Okay, let's go on from only one key to what happens if we play several keys. So as we've seen before, if we play an A in this example, we can play all these green tone wheels that are marked here. Of course, depending on our drawbar setting. And now if I play a power chord, so I play the A and an E, now we can see which tone wheels can all be heard. And now let's go on and play an A minor chord. And as you can tell, the tone wheels are not getting less. So, well, I think it's clear now how that works, but there's one little thing about the tone wheels and draw bars left. And this is if I play a note that is so high that it would need tone wheels that simply don't exist. Well, what the organ does is it will take tone wheels that exist. So it would take this one, this one, and this one. This is called harmonic foldback. And that simply means if you pull some of the higher draw bars and you play in the higher octaves, the sound character will change a bit. But don't worry, that's part of this organ sound. And if it would be different, it would not sound authentically. It would more sound like a synthesizer. So, okay, enough about draw bars. Let's now see this percussion mode, which is off now. We can switch it on here. But first, let's keep it off. And here we're going to play a key. And now the difference. And what it does, let's mute all these draw bars, is it plays this drawbar for a short while. Let's hear that drawbar. And now mute it again. And the volume the percussion mode will play can be selected here. So soft would be a bit lower than normal. And now let's see this switch here is now switched to slow. If we switch that to fast, the sound will decay faster. And this percussion harmonics switch is for selecting if we want to hear this drawbar or this drawbar. So when I switch to third, that actually plays this drawbar. Let's hear that together with the directly corresponding um, tone wheel. And now for the percussion, we have the switch on the right left. <laughs> And here we can select single or multi. This is not in original organs. I put that in because we're digital and we can have it. On original organs, you would only have the single mode, which means if you play a key, the percussion will play. And if you play a second key, the percussion will not play. And in multi mode, you will have both keys having the percussion playing. That's not 100% authentic, but it can be very useful sometimes. So what have we learned so far? We can design the sounds with the draw bars. For example, we want to have a very hollow sound. We would do it like this maybe and turn up some of the very high draw bars and maybe use no percussion. And now with the percussion on, in multi-mode, we will have an accent on the start of every tone. Or maybe with a different character. Well, now, okay, let's see the next feature. And this is called click. Click is not a feature of such an organ in the hardware world. All the hardware organs click 
because the click is actually produced when you press a key, you close the electric contacts for the single draw bars for this corresponding note, so you actually hear the electric switch. And depending on the condition of your organ, it will be louder or not so loud and so on. So we can switch that on here and hear the click. Again without the click. And with the click. And here in the settings page, you can adjust the click. So we have uh, the tone for the click and we have the volume for the click. So if we have a very bright click, it would be sound like this. Or a very dull click. And it could be very loud. Or not so loud. And here's another thing that has to do with the drawbars, and that's the drawbar leakage because the drawbars are not perfect resistors. Let's turn that up and just play the sub octave. We now hear all the corresponding tone wheels on a very low volume and that's the leakage from the other drawbars. So let's come to the vibrato. It's off now and we have six modes. V1, C1, V2, C2 and V3, C3. Let's start with the V1 and as it says, V1 will add a vibrato. Again without the vibrato. And with the vibrato. V2 will add a stronger vibrato. And V3 again stronger. The C positions will not add a vibrato, they will add a chorus. So C1 will make a chorus that corresponds to this vibrato one. Maybe with some more overtones we can hear that better. Okay, now three things left. Of course, this is the amount for the reverb. We can select if we want to have a big or a small reverb. And in the settings page, we can set the reverb time for small reverb and big reverb. And this pre post switch switches if we're feeding the reverb into the organ amp or if we have it after the organ amp. But we'll come to that again when we talk about the amps. Okay, back to the organ page. Of course, we have the output of our organ. And here we have the drive, which gives us overdrive. And the output is before the drive. So if we play lower notes, it will not distort. And if we play notes at higher volume, it will distort. So that's it for today and the fact that you're still watching tells me that you found it interesting and educational. We'll go on with the amp settings I think next week. But for now, have fun with the plugins and bye bye.